Welcome to another GoGrid how-to video, how to enable and manage the GoGrid firewall service. Before we begin, let me tell you just a little bit about GoGrid. GoGrid's cloud hosting platform provides automated provisioning of infrastructure over the internet. That means you can deploy and scale virtual and physical servers, storage, networking, load balancing, and firewalls in real time across multiple data centers using GoGrid's web-based management console or API. It also provides instant access to highly available multi-server environments. This means you can access and operate it using standard network protocols and IP addresses. There's no new technical skills required. GoGrid's firewall service is an elastic, self-healing firewall service. It's free of charge. It's fully featured, allowing customers to define inbound and outbound policies. And it's easy to use, so a customer can determine a security group and apply that globally across data centers. It's also designed to be highly available. That means your security groups instantly recover from failure. And it's fully integrated, so you can use the firewall in conjunction with other GoGrid services. Before we begin, let me explain just a little bit about what it is. The firewall service is a global security group. That means it's global. It's not tied to a particular data center. It's also designed to be single purpose. That means you create security groups for specific groups of similar servers, like web servers or database servers. As a user, you have full control over the management of the security groups. That means you can copy, edit, disable, and delete them at will. Your default security groups are used to create custom security groups. This means to create one of your own, you simply copy one of the defaults. You can't edit or delete the default groups. The default groups consist of core, which blocks all inbound traffic except pings, block all, which is the most restrictive, and blocks all inbound and outbound traffic. And then you have Linux web, which is used for Linux-based web servers. And then you have Windows web, which is used for Windows-based web servers. Last, there's policy direction. Each policy must have a direction, either inbound, outbound, or any, which means both directions. The last two components of the service are address and connections. For each policy, you can specify a particular IP address. And connections, connections are the servers to which you want the policies to apply. Connections are local, but policies are global. Only one security group per connection. Now let's go ahead and create a security group. You can create a security group in three steps. You're gonna create the security group, define the policy, and add a connection. To begin, from the GoGrid console, select the networking tab. Next, we'll go ahead and click on security group. You'll notice this brings up the four default security groups. Click on any one of the defaults to clone it. Clicking on the clone button, you'll notice the name and description are copied. Go ahead and edit the name and description. Scrolling down to the policy section, review the active policies. And when you're finished, click Save to create the security group. You'll receive a message that the security group has been successfully added. Note the security group replicates across all data centers. Once it's fully replicated, the status light will turn green, indicating that it's fully replicated across data centers. Now let's add a connection. Go ahead and click on the connection link. From the connection screen, we can assign a security group to a server's interface. We'll go ahead and add a name, description, select the server, add the security group, and then select Save. Once successfully added, the connection is stored. Now let's click on the Grid tab. Scroll down just a little bit, and note the firewall icon, and that the server is associated now with a security group. Going back up to the security services icon, you can click on it and configure it. This will allow you to edit the security group. From here, the security group will open, and you can select the policy that you would like to edit. Click Delete, and the policy will be deleted. Now let's click Add to add a new policy to the security group. We'll fill in the details such as name, description, direction, protocol, etc.
and then click Save. Note that a new policy has now been created. And once again, the security group will be replicated across data centers. And that's all there is to it. Thanks for watching this demonstration of our security group service. For more videos, please visit gogrid.com.